The third day of the monsoon session ended without business with both the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha adjourned for the day. The ruckus over the Lalit Modi and Vyapam issues continued in both the houses for the third straight day with the Congress-led opposition remaining adamant on a demand for resignations of External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj and the Chief Ministers of Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. The BJP has hit out at the Congress for stalling Parliament proceedings. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Venkaya Naidu said the Congress is running away from discussions, adding that there is no question of any minister resigning. Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan also slammed the Congress for blocking parliamentary proceedings. Meanwhile, Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi reiterated that there will be no discussion without resignations. Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan referred the breach of privilege motion against Robert Badra to the Privileges Committee. The Congress has lodged its protest against the Speaker's move. The BJP had moved a privilege motion in the Lok Sabha against Robert Badra, saying he criticized the functioning of Parliament in a Facebook post. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said the world closely observes whatever decisions are taken in India and he asked MPs to take a larger view of issues as they could have an impact globally. Inaugurating a workshop on the Speaker's Research Initiative, the PM said all laws need to be made in tune with the times and for the betterment of the common man. At the inauguration of the Speaker's Research Initiative, Prime Minister Narendra Modi praised Congress MP Shashi Tharoor for his debating skills. The Prime Minister praised Tharoor's argument in Oxford in demanding reparation payments from the UK to India for 200 years of its colonial rule. Tharoor was among the few non-BJP MPs present at the event. The BJP scaled up its attack on the Congress over corruption charges by citing income tax department probes to accuse Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister Virbhadra Singh of accepting a bribe from a private firm to buy a farmhouse in Mehroli. Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting Rajyavardhan Rathore said expanding the reach of the radio with the expansion of FM via Phase 3 auctions is the need of the hour. He also reiterated the commitment to autonomy of Prasar Bharti and hailed the achievements of AIR on the occasion of Indian Broadcasting Day. Over three dozen people are feared killed in a major road mishap in Himachal Pradesh. The accident occurred when a tourist bus carrying around 40 persons plunged into the Parvati River in Bhuntar in Kulu district. Over a dozen passengers have been rescued. The bus was going from Barnala in Punjab to Manikaran in Himachal Pradesh. Modifying its 7th July order, the Supreme Court allowed state governments to exercise its powers of remission to release live convicts with a rider that this will not apply to cases probed by central agencies like the CBI and for those incarcerated under central laws such as the TADA. The Apex Court also made it clear that this order will not apply to the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case, which is being heard at present. Yakub Memon, who is to be hanged on the 30th of July for his role in the 1993 Bombay blast, has asked the Supreme Court to stop his execution on the grounds that a lower court's death warrant is illegal. The warrant issued by a trial court did not follow procedure and guidelines. Yakub's lawyer told the Supreme Court, citing a case in May when the death warrants of an Uttar Pradesh couple were cancelled. The Supreme Court had then said that such warrants cannot be issued unless the convict has exhausted all legal options. In its first cabinet expansion, the nine-month-old BJP government in Haryana inducted three new ministers. The three newly inducted ministers are Krishan Lal Pawar, Khanshyam Saraf and Nayab Singh Saini. With the induction of these three ministers, the Khattar government will now have a total of 13 ministers including the chief minister. The BJP re-inducted former Rajya Sabha MP Sabir Ali into the party. Ali was a JDU MP till March 2014 when he was expelled from the party. He joined the BJP on the 28th of March that year. Ali's induction in the BJP had created tremors in the party last year owing to stiff opposition by several party leaders and his membership was cancelled within 24 hours of his joining. The Energy and Research Institute of India Chief R.K. Pachauri, who is uh, facing sexual harassment charges, was removed as the Director General of the Green Body. Ajay Mathur, currently Director General of the Bureau of Energy Efficiency, has been appointed as the new DG. In view of the ongoing Kumbh Mela being celebrated at Nashik and Trimbakeshwar, Central Railways has decided to give additional halt to 20 trains at Nashik Road Station. The trains, which usually do not stop at Nashik Road, will halt for two minutes at the station from the 10th of August to September 30th. In sports, the Indian team for the three-test series tour to Sri Lanka has been announced. Virat Kohli will lead the team with Ridhiman Saha, the wicket-keeper. KL Rahu's good show in the Indian A game got him a place in the test team. Harbhajan Singh retained his place in the team while Amit Mishra made a comeback. 
The team banks on eight batsmen, four pacers and three spinners.